very good morning friends today we are going to discuss about uh, one software kinet ts uh, basically kinet ts is a software which is utilized for uh, analysis of resolution data uh, today as we are going to discuss about the software so we are not uh, discussing details about resolution as well as uh, uh, release kinetic so you people have to study about the dissolution uh, mostly drug substance as well as formulation dissolutions and uh, what is the release mechanism and release kinetic uh, somewhere else from uh, well defined resources like books or review articles so uh, this is one of the uh, review article that i find that i found uh, which is based on uh, how to utilize this kinet ts software uh, so uh, as written here it is an open source software for the dissolution test data analysis you may find uh, such software from uh, its source forge uh, depository source for is a depository for uh, free open source software so you may just uh, search search for dotnet and uh, search kinet ds here so this is a page from where you can download this kinet ds software i have already downloaded kinet ds software so once you download the software you may uh, get a zip file like this kinet ds windows 32 zip so i have unzipped it and uh, within that zip folder you may find this uh, five or four files so here is a kinet ds 3exe file uh, what you have to do is just double click over this uh, file so there is the one window as you can see here there is nothing here but uh, uh, one test data set is already given uh, with this software so let's open that test data so look at here this is the text file you may find the uh, extension so i'm just uh, to make it so look at here so the extension of this data set is .txt so whenever you perform your dissolution you may uh, create file in uh, excel file but later you can uh, uh, convert that excel file into .txt file so this is a compulsory part you have to uh, represent your data in .txt form so uh, this as seen here this test data uh, shows the percentage cumulative drug dissolved so first column is about the time so 5 10 15 20 uh, 20 uh, 10 20 sorry 30 likewise so this is the time series and this is a cumulative drug dissolved in particular media so this is how you have to prepare your uh, file right so once you have a, a file ready you have to uh, um, open that test data file or whatsoever it is your file in this kind of test software so what you have to do is just click on the file and you have to open the uh, test data file so now we have something here so you may find uh, uh, lots of dots uh, in square shape uh, which are Draw over this uh, software so uh, whatever the data uh, is in this test.txt files are now uh, in this uh, tool so let's say uh, at 5 minute there is a 12 percentage of drug dissolved so in first this is this is first square represent the 5 minute and 12 percentage of drug release in similar way you may find at 300 minute 90 percent drug has been released 
so at 300 minutes you may find this is about something 90 percent of value so uh, this data are plotted here uh, in uh, time versus percentage uh, scale and um, let's move further so these are the parameters so as you know uh, parameters we need to calculate lots of values with reference to different models so about such models this this is one of the finest uh, uh, review article or I, I found over the literatures and uh, this article presents about uh, lots of models which is available in kinet ds so so you may see here like uh, there is a zero order model, there is a first order model, second, third, cross pair, pepas model, uh, Weboli model, mm, Weboli model with, with lag time, hexon crawl method, Baker Lonsdale method, Michaelis Manton, and Hill's equation. So, there are lots of models which are available with this software right now, and uh, mm, there are a few more functionalities like. Uh, what kind of accuracy or graph accuracy you, you, you require you may change right uh, here then what is the uh, criteria for the selection of models that you uh, want so most of we select r square as one of the criteria but uh, you may also choose r square empirical or AICB as a RMSC you may uh, search about what are these uh, model selection criteria uh, somewhere with the uh, good explanation in statistics so let's say for the today's uh, uh, demonstration i have selected r square and all of these models so as soon as uh, see there is nothing here right now uh, first you have to click this compute right suppose if you want to add something or if you want to let's say uh, what you say you want this uh, uh, this graph right you want to export this graph you can export just by say as a bitmap so let's say uh, if I am writing dissolution for the desktop uh, so let's say so these files have been saved right so you may uh, hmm? Open these files, right? You may copy paste somewhere wherever you require. Okay. And there are lots of options for. Um, let's say I'm just opening in Internet Explorer. yeah right so this is the uh, thing how you can uh, export the image uh, but this is not about the image only so the next part is a compute so after selection of the parameter you have to just press the compute current right so as you as you just click the compute current lots of calculation you have found in here so previously it was uh, a blank uh, sheet but now you may find uh, lots of calculation here right uh, not only this these calculations are also being exported over this uh, another file you may find another text file on the same folder from which you have opened this uh, tool uh, that is uh, result orders test data dot txt right so uh, uh, there are lots of calculation you may found here right so what are these calculation this calculation are nothing but uh, mm, mm, it, uh, um, it is a it, it gives you idea or r square or the parameters parameters for the uh, each and every model so look at here uh, let's say for the model order 0 so for the 0 order uh, you may find uh, equation a b and r values and its standard error 
and kind of things so r you may call it as a 0.6 right so your r square is something point like something 0.6 in similar manner um, for the first order uh, the r square is 0.48 and uh, Mm, these are the um, you can say this 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 uh, value these are the observed value and predicted value with this uh, uh, equation this is a x plus b y plus c is equal to zero so in this manner uh, these are the observed value and these are the predicted value so uh, this is totally uh, wrong here you may found uh, obviously the r square value is 0.6 so uh, you can study this entire file but um, you may quickly find the proper value also here so look at the graph below this graph so previously there there were just points but now the points are connected so uh, you may find here like uh, r square value of each and every models right so let's say this is a uh, r square value to total so as uh, we have seen r square value uh, sorry in our results uh, r square value is a 0.661 so these are the look at here 0.6617 is r square value for the zero order in similar way if you just click next so this is the r square value for the first order and it's a uh, trend line is shown here in similar way second order third order path model so you have to you have to check for the best r square value uh, so this is Waboli model r square value 0.9 and r square value with very nearby to 1 is generally considered the uh, best model which have so uh, fitting best fitting with the current resolution data so let's find out which has the best article yeah this is so michael is maintained this model has a um, best asker value r square 0.99 right so this is how this kinet ds is a very easy tool to find out the uh, release mechanism or mostly we can say uh, release kinetic of dissolution data okay so thank you thank you very much